What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and Disney Star Wars is getting exactly what they deserve. When you abandon all the long-term fans of your franchise, when you make decisions specifically to pander to a certain group of people that don't actually care about Star Wars, all they want is representation. And then even when they do get that representation that they so greatly desired, if you don't do exactly what they want you to do with it, then they're done. Then they say, hashtag, Star Wars hates women. And that's exactly what we saw happen the other day. And it's just absolute insanity. And that's why, when you go out of your way to pursue that type, to pander to that type of fan, it's never going to work out for you. And that's what we've seen with Disney Star Wars. It's blown up in their face. Now, we're going to take a look at this tweet from Data Racer. Also, Itchy Baka has done some incredible work on this as well. We're going to take a look at Disney Star Wars is Dumb, his website. But it's all about... Marvel's Bounty Hunters number four, a Star Wars comic book in which, heaven forbid, one of the most feared bounty hunters in the galaxy, Boba Fett, kills someone. That someone happens to be a woman. It happens to be a, quote, woman of color. And that's just too much for some people. We're going to look at all these outraged freaks in a little bit. We're going to take a look at what they said. Uh, but I do want to go back and look at the history a little bit because Ichibaka did write about this before it all blew up. Does anyone understand the title of the franchise? Recently, I wrote about the utterly ridiculous assertion from ILM animation director Hal Hickel, who works on The Mandalorian, that Star Wars is not about war. And then he talks about it may have spread to a new breed of fans. It's from this guy, Braddington, right here. And what does he say? So Star Wars comics are never going to stop portraying men senselessly killing women, huh? And then he's the one that initially posted this. I think this is honestly what started this entire thing off. Um, apparently Brad doesn't believe in equality, that women can get killed just as senselessly as any man can during war, perhaps even more so. But then, none of this is about wars anyway, so there is that. The idea that you're getting this upset about a woman getting killed by a bounty hunter is absolute insanity. Of course, it didn't stop there. It cascaded after that. And you see all these people who say they're Star Wars fans, come out of the woodwork to talk about how horribly Star Wars has treated women. So we are going to take a look at all of these fucking weirdos. Right here, the fact that it happens at the hands of Boba Fett, every gatekeeping dude bro's eternal fave, is extremely telling. Hashtag Star Wars hates women. The, the Disney Star Wars that went out of its way... As Dave Filoni said, oh my god, a female character. How unfair, right? Who went out of their way to give us these female leads. Intentionally went out of their way to give us female leads. Had Kathleen Kennedy sitting up here. The Force is female. This bullshit Star Wars, right? Star Wars hates women. It is so ironic and so hilarious that this is happening to Disney Star Wars. Why are all mothers cursed in Star Wars? All their fates worsen their child's lives. Uh, hashtag Star Wars hates women. Uh, Leia, they literally, they literally kept Carrie Fisher alive after she was dead in order to give her a proper send-off, a proper way to end the story. They literally reincarnated her on the screen in Rise of Skywalker. A big mistake in my opinion. But one they wanted to do, to honor Princess Leia, supposedly. Don't you like that? Don't you like the fact that they did that? No. Hashtag Star Wars hates women. Remember when they made Kelly go through almost every press con for Rise of Skywalker? When she was treated as a minor character in the film and had less than two minutes of screen time? Fuck you, Lucasfilm. Hashtag Star Wars hates women. Over and over and over again. Remember when it was revealed that Leia wanted grandchildren only for her to die while trying to save her only child who ended up dying anyway? Hashtag Star Wars hates women. What do you want to happen? What do you want, Disney Star Wars fans? Would you like every woman in history to never have anything bad happen to her? Um, is, are only men allowed to die in Star Wars? Is that how you want it to be? Only men allowed to die. This is so insane. I did go ahead and read Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Like, I went ahead and read it just because I wanted to know, uh, I wanted to understand exactly the reference point and how it happened. And Boba Fett comes in at the end. He's after two people in there. He's tracking them down. And he kills that person to get to them. 
Uh, I will just say as an aside, it's disgusting how much of the expanded universe they continue to pull from in these comic books. The fact that Valence the Bounty Hunter is a character in Disney Star Wars. The fact that so many of the so much of the lore surrounding it, the places they go, the the uh, the worlds they visit, is pulled directly from the expanded universe is disgusting. Fuck you, fuck you, Lucasfilm. Uh, Star Wars hates women unless they become vessels for men. Why write female characters in the first place? Yes, because they gave her the name Rey Skywalker. Because they literally gave her the shortcut and gave her this name. That's a vessel for a man. This is the fans that you chose, Lucasfilm. This is the fan that you chose right here. So much bullshit on one cheap t-shirt. Want positive engagement? Maybe walk that talk instead of empty platitudes on red bubble tea. Uh, I guess it's not enough that you had uh, the most powerful of powerful Mary Sues as a female lead your trilogy. You had Jin Erso in Rogue One. I guess that's not enough. I don't, I don't know what else we need. Just wait for that Ahsoka. Oh, we're going to give you an Ahsoka series, guys. Will that be enough for you? No. It won't be enough for them. Let's look at Data Racer's tweet and some of what these people are saying. Uh, that That's where it started, right here, that Braddington guy. So tired of consuming Star Wars stories that make me feel like men created them hate me, hate women. Wasn't planning to start the day with a good long cry, but here we are again. This person is crying because a minor character got killed by a bounty hunter. I guarantee you these people probably don't even know the name of this character. They don't even understand what this is about, right? And that's why I went to my, my special site where they happen to have all these comics online that you don't have to pay for. Funny that. Um, I went to my special site and found that Star Wars 4 because I wanted to know the reference point. I wanted to know the context. These people don't even get that. I guarantee you. There's no way that, there's no way that Star Wars Bounty Hunters is selling more than 20,000, 30,000 copies anyway. So I guarantee you these people don't know who this is. Star Wars hates women. Star Wars fan for over 35 years and I'm done. I'll stick to fanfic now. Well, luckily, luckily, it's basically what the sequel trilogy is. George Lucas isn't involved. It's basically fan fiction, right? There you go. F you, Disney Lucasfilm. Star Wars hates women has never been new. The problem with allowing 99% men to create things in your fandom is blatant misogyny and homophobia and racism. So it's misogyny and homophobia and racism because it's men now. It's not just misogyny. Got it. Do you see what I'm saying here? Like, these are the type of people that you are pandering to. These type of people will not buy comics. These type of people will not stick around and watch your movies. We saw that. We saw that between Force Awakens and Rise of Skywalker. These type of people will not buy hundreds of books, right? These type of people will not sit there and buy hundreds of books about Star Wars. These people will not buy all this merchandise. They won't. All they're going to do, they might go and cheer on Twitter when you make a woman the lead character. They might go cheer on Twitter if they see a woman of color. But as soon as you do one thing they don't like, they're done. They're out because they don't actually care for this shit. You're trying to wrap them in with all this diversity and representation. They don't actually care. Let's continue on. I don't know who thought it'd be okay for Boba Fett comic that shows violence against women. That's disgusting on so many... Are you fucking kidding me? A Boba Fett comic that shows violence against women. That woman is a bounty hunter in her own right, effectively. Like, she's doing the same thing. Should Boba Fett... If the situation were reversed... Would you be okay with her killing Boba Fett? Yeah, you would be. The double standards and the hypocrisy that these people have uh, should not be lost on anyone. Uh, we love how Star Wars barely a handful of canonically queer characters, but they killed off... And it went, it's true. It was a queer woman of color because she had to talk about her girlfriend in it. Heaven forbid they kill a gay woman of color uh, and had Boba Fett mock her corpse. Boba Fett didn't mock her corpse. Oh my god, is Jenny Nicholson in here? Really? Jenny Nicholson. Jeb. The more Star Wars content they released, the more I feel like they had Rey die and come back because someone noticed they had a female character they forgot to kill. Come on. 
it's over and over again. Hashtag Star Wars hates women. I've never canceled a subscription until today. Very disappointed. Women deserve better. Uh, keep on crying, Kyle. No one is going to fuck you. You can tell that by your profile picture. So keep on simping for all of these weirdos. Uh, it, I don't know what else to say. To be honest with you, this is all so insane. This is all so ridiculous, but it's also predictable. You knew, you knew that this was going to be the case, that these were going to be the fans that they tried to attract. When you see Kathleen Kennedy out there, hashtag the force is female. You had a lot of people that tried to get into Star Wars just because of that, when they don't actually care about Star Wars itself. And then when you do one thing against that diversity and representation to harm it in some way, you're done. They don't care. They've moved on to the next thing because they didn't really care about it to begin with. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Make sure you smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.